The evening of one of the last practice sessions, the stand-in on New Lawn Park in Kilkenny was well filled. As the big day approaches, hurling fever is rising, for the game is part of the very fabric of Kilkenny life. Kilkenny take to the field knowing that they are the underdogs, but they say that that can be turned to advantage. The self-deception of overconfidence can be an insidious betrayer. On the practice field, the play was fast and precise, and if they can reproduce that on Sunday at Croke Park, Galway could be in for a nasty surprise. Commanding the session, Kilkenny manager and coach Pat Henderson. So what was the atmosphere amongst his fellow Kilkenny men? Uh, well, in the final week, it's building up now, and the colours are being dusted out, and uh, people are making travel arrangements, and of course they're out looking for tickets. Uh, Everybody now wants a ticket. Uh, it's an all-ticket affair this year, so there's a lot of demand for tickets. Some are looking for stand tickets, and other people prefer standing tickets, and other people want to tell you even where they want to stand on the ground. So, but it all adds up to the occasion. Kilkenny last won the All-Ireland in 1983. In fact, they then pulled off the double-double, winning both the league and the All-Ireland twice in a row in 82 and 83. But the fans say that in some recent games, the standard of play was below what they've come to expect of Kilkenny. So can they beat Galway? Their great strength is their, is their all-round ability. They, they play very well as a team. One could pick out a number of individuals, but that's not entirely their strength. Their strength is, 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 is that they have a youthful team and they have seemed to have a lot of good replacements and they've, they've brought those on very successfully uh, this year and, and over the last couple of years. And your own strong points and weak points? Well, I suppose the average punter on the street will point out many of those and I'm not about to highlight them for Galway, let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, I, I think we have, uh, we have some young players and some mature players, I think, and that may well be our strength. And the outcome, in, in your estimation? Well, we're predicting that if, if, if things run reasonably well for us, that, that we might just about shade it. But it'll be very tough and very tight this year. I think that all the years going in, Kilkenny uh, would definitely rate underdogs, and deservedly so, on the performance to date this year. And that's hard for Kilkenny man to say. <laughs> And while skills were being polished on the field, enthusiasts on the sidelines were making their own assessment of the team's chances. Their predictions? We like the Kilkenny Cats now, playing with a mouse and kill him at the end. <laughs> That's what we do. It said that the team hasn't been on form recently, in recent matches, has it? Not the last two matches. No. Well, any team that's not on form and comes out and wins their matches must be in with a good chance anyway. That's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. Take your chance when you get it. They have the class. A few great men out there, like Sir Henderson, Sir Fenley, Joe Hennessy, all them lads. All great men. Is there much excitement in town? Oh, yes, great excitement. This is going to be a great week of excitement for the last year. Four years ago since the high street was packed uh, when, they, yeah. when the lads came home with the cops. Yeah, yeah. Do you expect to be there again? Uh, hope so. I hope there'll be another 22,000 out Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Thank you. And casting his expert eye over the talent on the field, the man who holds more All-Ireland hurling medals than anyone else in the country, Noel Skehan, famed goalkeeper who now holds nine All-Ireland medals. Can his successors on the field take the McCarthy Cup back to Kilkenny again? They're going in as underdogs, like, you know, and that's the way you want to be going in, like, no pressure in the either early world, like, you know, so I think, uh, well, I suppose, for what it's worth, it's the right way to win as underdogs, like, you know. So you feel they can pull it off, then? Oh, yeah, I'm fairly confident, like, you know, I think the Leinster Championship this year was as good as the Munster Championship, and uh, Galway beat the Munster Champions, and not be so much, like, but uh, I reckon our team is as good as that anyway, like, you know.